The fire stick is very easy to put together and hook up. I took everything out of the package and laid it here. What you want to do is get this piece, find this one hole, there's only one hole on the whole thing, and attach this to it. Once you attach it, you just take it and put it in the HDMI slot. Mine is going to be HDMI 1, which is right here. Okay, and then on the other end, you have this USB. Now, either you can attach it to this piece right here and plug it in the wall, but most newer TVs have a USB slot for charging. So you can, instead of plugging in the wall, free up an outlet and plug it into the USB slot. And this way, I feel like that's a lot cleaner. It's one less cord hanging from your TV. Here we go. Now the TV should recognize it, so the TV is recognizing it. FYI, it comes with an extender, so if you have a TV that's attached to the wall, which the one in my bedroom is like that, and, and so the fire stick attaches to it and it would be too long, basically it wouldn't fit. So if you need to attach this you can attach this and you know bend the fire stick down or left or right or however you know however it needs to go so that it fits behind your television but in this case we don't need it so we'll just leave it there the next thing is the um the fire stick is trying to look for the remote you have to sync the remote so the way that you open the remote is to just slide it up Turn it over and slide it up. See, there's little arrows that go so forward. So they both go the same way, which is different. And then you want to just put it, click it back on and slide it down. Very easy. We'll just press the play button to start. Choose your language. For us, it'll be English. It looks like there's insufficient USB power detected. So I'm going to have to unplug the USB from the back and plug it into a power outlet, which is okay. Um, on my TV in my room, That I didn't get that message, but it's no big deal. I'm just going to take it out of here and plug it into here. Okay, now that that's done, it looks like it's recognizing the fire stick. So... We'll just press, press play to start. This is the select button. We'll choose our Wi-Fi. Enter your password. Then you click connect. Okay, it looks like it's going to be loading the latest software. So it took about a minute, I would say a solid minute, and then it restarted itself. So that's what it's doing right now. Okay, after it loaded and restarted, I got this message. Um, it says optimizing system storage and applications. This will take 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll just wait the 10 minutes. Okay. It didn't take 10 minutes, it only took about one minute. So it says, your Amazon Fire Stick is registered to Melissa. Do you want to use this account? So I'm gonna use this account because I ordered it off of my Amazon account. So I guess it's already registered. If you wanna change the account, you can just click the option below. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, it's asking if we want to save our Wi-Fi password, which is always the best idea. So, at this point, we can either enable parental controls or not. Um, so, I'm not going to do that. 
this intro video is two minutes, so you can skip past two minutes if you don't want to watch it. your Alexa voice remote. Press and hold the microphone button and ask for a title, actor, or category like this. Find suspense thrillers. Watch right into a movie by saying, play Ex Machina. So it gives you a little Skip tutorial ahead, here. Minutes. Or catch up on your favorite show, play Bosch. It's easy to browse through episodes and recommendations. Just use the outer ring of the remote to navigate and press the center button to make your selection. Or use your smartphone as a remote. Download the Free Fire TV remote app from the App Store. Oh, and speaking of apps, many of your favorites are available for Fire TV. There's Netflix, HBO Now, Hulu, and a whole lot more. You can also play popular games like Pac-Man 256 and Crossy Road. Now with the power of Alexa, you can ask about sports, news, even the weather. Remember, press and hold the microphone button. What's the weather? Fire TV is even better with Amazon Prime. In addition to free two-day shipping, your membership offers unlimited access to tens of thousands of popular movies and TV shows, plus all your photos and videos with Prime Photos. Get more variety by adding monthly video subscriptions to your Prime membership. Explore dozens of channels, including live and on-demand streaming from Showtime and Stars. Don't forget about music. Amazon Prime members can listen to over a million songs. Just ask for a specific artist, genre, or try a Prime playlist like this. Play happy modern pop. Please don't wake me now. Easy, right? Enjoy your new Fire TV stick from Amazon. Okie dokie. It looks like it wants to, um, for us to select the apps that we want. So we could either choose the apps or not choose the apps. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the apps. So at this point you can just, there's a whole bunch of apps to go through here. You could choose them and then it goes on your main screen. Or if you have something on your main screen and you don't want it, you could also remove it after the fact. Okay, it says press play to continue. So we're gonna select that. And that's that. From there you could just do your browsing. So this, um, this first bar here this first row these are the apps that you select so I got Netflix and now I'm going to download the Netflix and when you want to go back to the home screen you just press the back button so Netflix should be on my Oh, there it is on my first row and then anyway you can just browse after that these are Amazon Prime recommendations and so forth and that's that your um, Amazon Fire Stick is now set up I think it was pretty simple to set up it doesn't take a genius you could I think it was pretty fast too so that's that and happy watching